Hello. Yes, it's short today because it's hot. <clears throat> okay, so this one I am dedicating to my beautiful diary that just dropped me off. <laughs> it's hot here today. And it, it may not be hot to you. Oh, sorry, sorry, wait, I'm sorry. So this video is called Wendy Bitch. <laughs> because that's what her and I were discussing. And she's like, isn't it interesting that now that we're older, we can't take the heat? And I'm like, oh, heck no. Anything above 75 is uncomfortable to me. When earlier, you know, I could have gone probably to like 90. And then when it got on, you know, depending on your age, right? Because, you know, the kids, they can be out there in that 110 degree heat and not think a thing of it. You know, put a little water on them, they're good for another five hours. Oh, no. No, no. There's no amount of water unless I'm at the beach in the ocean, not coming out of the water until the sun goes down. <laughs> you know? So her and I were discussing, you know, when you get older, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, yeah, you're right. Sorry, I gotta get my, my juice if I can reach it. But like I said, it's hot out there, so thank God I had my juice in the freezer, getting nice and chilled for me. I'm really liking it because you know I gotta see, right? So, and I love carrots. I always ate carrots, so now it was nice to get some organic carrot juice from hospital. <coughs> anyway, so she picked me up at the hospital, she's bringing me home, <coughs> and, uh, and she just, I just don't, and I don't feel like eating either, and I'm, I, please, I can testify to that, I will co-sign on that, I don't, the only thing I want to eat is some wine melon, which I leave in the hallway, because this house is always cold, which is fine. Even on the cold days, I just turn my heater on. I'm not complaining about that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I said, so what about me talking about the food you like and don't like? And I said, you know what? Forget food. Even with or without teeth. After 75, I don't want to eat anything other than watermelon or maybe, you know, make food at all. Smoothie, 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 because I can drink all my nutrition, <laughs> you know. He's like, yeah, me too, me too. So have you tried it this way and have you tried it that way? So anywho, the, uh, the whole gist of this is, you know, young folks, Mama was right. Appreciate your youth because I'm telling you now, I'm, I still act like a kid because, you know, as you get older, people just think you're crazy, so. And that's okay. I don't have a problem with what your opinion is in me. Your opinion don't matter. <laughs> Only mine matters. So, if I am a wimpy bitch, and I can't, excuse me, I can, I opt not to, you know, be out in the heat for an extended period of time. Just walking from the gate to the house and to my room was warm enough for me, having, you know, come out of the freezing hospital, but that's okay. I saved, all, I stored up all that freezing mist. Yeah, so I, so I could carry it with me <laughs> from the van to my room. You know, now my room is nice and cool. I don't think it's, I don't, oh, we got a nice little breeze now. I don't think it's 70 in my room. It's beautiful, wonderful, you know. So, you know, and, and you older ones, you know, stop thinking that we, this isn't the twenties anymore. We don't, we could do with it, whatever we feel like doing. And you know, there are people who think we're crazy. I don't care about that. What I care about is me and my health, right? So me and somebody <coughs> was having a, a discussion. He's like, well, I think you should exercise more. And I said, well, when this body becomes yours, I'll consider it then. Because you have the desire to think, you know, that everybody should you know, be able to, you know, walk 10 miles without puffing and puffing. And I'm sure there's people out there that do, just not me. Go tell them. You're, you're, what did um, Maya say? Your words do not fit my tongue, you know? And, and, but be man enough to, you know, realize everybody ain't you. That's why 
I understand, just like metaphysics is my thing, so I post, I post a lot of metaphysical stuff. However, all y'all out there telling everybody you should be, you know, vegan, you should, you know, vegetarian, vegan, whatever. No, that doesn't that doesn't make everybody's body better. Your spirit makes everybody's body better. No matter what you choose to think, be, do, eat, you know. But that doesn't work for everybody. Like when the doctor said it was his opinion that um, I'm diabetic, you know, the first thing everybody say, oh, just, you know, just be raw. There's a lot of sick raw eating people. That's not the end all be all. It's not, you know. I appreciate you for trying to educate me and help me. However, that works for you and your body, you know. In any case, your body still has a spirit. Wilson. Oh, you can't hear because I got... <laughs> Wilson is so funny. Hello? Hello, Wilson. She's so funny. Yes, her name is Wilson, and it's a girl. Uh... You know, but that's not the end all be all. The end all be all is your spirit. My spirit had to balance with my body that was going through changes. That's really well no it wasn't it wasn't in, so forget about that. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. That was years ago I went through the change. Thank you, Lord. But then the change brought all this. I got a beard now. <laughs> you know? Um so, everything don't work for every everybody, but, I mean, in addition to, your spirit is, you are a spirit. So, once we get the spirit aligned with the body, then that can cure everything. Yeah, everything. Everything, everything. I gotta go find Cat Williams so I can watch that. Everything, everything. You know? And once I got my spirit aligned with my body, then everything fell in place, I'm losing weight, uh, eating a lot better, I'm not by any stretch of the imagination perfect, please, um, but I'm better, and I'm better, you know, a lot better. So you don't sit here and say, well, Tosh, you know, if you just, you know, keep eating only fruits and vegetables, then, you know, you'll, you know, lose that other hundred pounds. And no, no, no. Because I also believe, you know, <clears throat> with everything, there's spiritual adjustment. You don't just sleep and poof, everything's gone. That might have happened for two people that I know of in my lifetime. However, I, I also know, since we only see the outside of things, they were working hard on their spirit before it seemed instantaneous. You know what I mean? So like Jay, like the Jay-Z or Beyonce, whatever people, you know, the movie stars, we don't see them for two years and you think, oh, they're just, you know, taking a break. No, they're making another movie. So poof, the next movie comes up and it's like, oh, Wow, when did that happen? Well, it's been happening all along. You just couldn't see it. You know, you see what I mean now? Okay, anyhow. So all that whole change about this change, about that change. So now, yeah, I'm good. And I don't, I don't, I just can't. And I'm telling this person, you know, I can't care about what you think. I know what my body needs. I know what my spirit needs. You can't tell me what to do with and for my spirit. You can't. You just can't, you know. Um, do I have, yeah, I don't have it back there. Okay. Um, so, you know, me and the bus driver, she's so, so funny. She's so sweet. So I said, I'm going to make a video about this. So all you older women, yeah, let's talk about it. So the younger girls will know what they have to look forward to. And maybe by then, one of those younger girls, if one of you older girls aren't already working on it, will figure out a way how to make all of this transition easier. I mean, we're not movie stars. We don't just have somebody put makeup on our face, put hair on, put clothes on, and push you out there on the stage, and you can pretend to be something that you're not. Okay? Now, when I go to work, I consider that acting. However, I am with myself. I'm with you. I don't, I don't need to act. 
Well, you saw, what, 3,000 of my previous videos where I was at work, and I had to act and, and make videos at the same time. <laughs> um, I didn't have to, but I chose to because, you know, you, you get a routine. And that's so now the routine is when it's 63, it's just right to go outside. <laughs> and when it gets about 73, it's time to come back in, <laughs> you know. Yeah, because the body just doesn't feel comfortable. And you know, we, you you got to go with the flow of the feeling. Because when you feel, ugh, well, you don't feel like doing anything, right? I mean, it's not like having an upset stomach. It's not like having a headache, but you still don't feel like moving. Like yesterday, I stayed in my room all day. I got a lot done, though. You know, updating the websites. I didn't do my blogs. Sorry, guys. I'll post the winners, um, yeah, next next Sunday. Sorry. Um because things have been happening, things have been popping and flying, and you know, and I'm excited. Life is life is changing, and we have to accept all changes with the change, you know. So it's all good. But young girls, no, enjoy everything now. If you think you have bad periods now, suck it up, take a pill, put a smiley face on, and get out there, because after living five years of hot flashes. Now, I'm not talking about, whew, I'm talking about, where's the ice water? Put an air conditioner there, put an air conditioner there, and put one in the back so I can stand with no clothes on and just be air conditioned just to keep the inside of me from feeling like I am on fire. Sweat, 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 sweat. Yeah, I'll take a period any day. No, I'm, go I'm joking, God. I'm joking. Don't bring that back. Um, who is that? Castle Dr. Beverly B. I'm listening to. Okay, so let me turn that down. Sorry. And, uh, you know, see, if we all just get together and help each other, and men, if you could get together and make more videos and things so we women realize how stupid we're being when we think you really like us and you don't, you just want a quick fuck. Yeah, it would help. It would help because you still have grown-ass women out there. Oh, Bobby likes me. No, he doesn't. He was fucking Susie yesterday. Oh, no, but he told me he loved me. He'd never do that to me. What is that? Bruce, I love you. Let me in. Oh, come on, baby. You know you're the only one. Pictures, pictures, pictures all over Facebook. Yeah, like that guy, Lorenzo, did to me. Yeah, that's, that's really showing that you like me, right? No. You show me that you like me by talking to me, and I realize that's challenging for a lot of you men, okay? However, being in this society, we have to learn to adjust to and with each other, okay? So I'll talk a little bit less if you talk a little bit more. And when you come to the door, I'm not going to say, how was your day, honey? What did you do? Well, you know the kids. If you talk a little bit more, I'll talk a little bit less. If you show your, tell me your emotions more, I will tell you mine a little less. Something. We need to find a happy medium, people. So let's teach our boys and girls. Boys, you know girls talk a lot. Just deal with it. Talk to you sometimes. Girls, you know boys don't talk a lot. Shut up. You know, boys don't necessarily want to hear, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Do you like this? Do you like this? Do you like this? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? What do you like about me? Do you like my hair? Do you like my dress? Do you like this? Because let's face it, generally when people don't like something, they tell you, or they let it be known, unless they just want a quick fuck. <laughs> then, oh, you're perfect. Yeah, but when you finally know him enough as friends to where he invites you to his house, yeah, that's got to stop too. Uh, then you see pictures of him and all his exes that are this big. And you're dating me? No, something's rotten in the cotton here. People change. People change. I'm not saying that they don't. Don't write to me about that. I'm just saying we show each other what we are truly like. Okay? You do. Now, because he doesn't say it how you can comprehend it doesn't mean that it's not so. You see? So let's, women must become better listeners and shut up. And men, you become better talkers and listen a lot. Okay. 
So when you're older and you realize, you know, you're a man with a big old huge gut, you're probably not going to go pick up something like, um, uh, I, can't, I, I can see her face, I can't say her name, um, the guy, the lady from Scandal, you know, or Cher, or Tina Turner, we probably aren't going to be as likely to pick up young girls like we always want to. And, and now, since, since 1985 or so, we've got the Cougars. Yeah, well, it's our turn to catch up, move over, you know. And you know that you're not going to be with that 21-year-old boy forever. It's just, you know, a clicky and you got your way or whatever. not saying that doesn't last. I actually know one couple where she was 42. And, well, I can say it without saying names. He was 19, you know. But he acted as a man acts, you know. You get a job, you pay half the bills if you live in there. Put the trash out. You know, you have your roles, I have my roles. I do the things you don't like to do, and you do the things I don't like to do. And I'm not saying men are supposed to enter the trash. You know, I'm saying you're supposed to be flexible with each other, no matter the age. If, if you act like a man, I'll treat you like a man. However, a lot of you men, especially you, I'm going to send this to you on Facebook, talking about I love you. You don't even know my last name. How the hell you love me? After a week. No, save that drama for the the girl with no self esteem. I'm not that one. I am so not that one, okay? No, no. So just because let me sum this up. <laughs> so just because, you know, right now it's just right. It's just right. It's perfect. Now there's a little tiny breeze coming to the window that's right. And so young ladies, appreciate <laughs> Your, your body, no matter what size it is, no matter how it is, if it's fluffy or if it's not fluffy. Just appreciate it, you know? Because when you're 53, things are going to change. <laughs> Unless, generally, you're the type of person who's always been into sports all your life or something. Then you have other issues like not having a period, having headaches, having whatever. I, I don't know, a lot of my gymnast friends who still practice at 53, they're gymnastics, because I grew up on the beam. Ugh, I love the beam. Balance beam. Yes, and I was good. Even for a big girl, I was good. Anyway, and the uneven parallel bars. Uh, you know, everything changes somehow or shape or form unless you choose for it not to change. If you always ran track and you, went through and you, and you walk fast now, it's all good. However, a lot of us don't continue to do the same things we did when we were young. You know, so now I'm a wimpy bitch. I hope you watch this, and I hope you, I hope you find me. <laughs> you are such a wonderful, wonderful angel. You're such a joy to ride with. Oh, I just love you to pieces. I really do. And on that note, I'm going to let you go because I'm late for someone else's um, blog talk radio. And an interview. Oops. Um, in five minutes with somebody that wants a virtual assistant. So, I love you. Get out of here. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself no matter what age, no matter your body type, no matter nothing. And realize if you love you, he will too. Or she will too. But we all still need to communicate with each other. I love you. Gotta go. Bye.